My name is John Alexander, I am the leader of Dundee City Council and uh, I'm Dundee born and raised for the last 31 years. I remember my very first visit, I came here with my mum when I was, must have been about eight, nine uh, years of age and that was my first kind of dipping of the toe I suppose into culture in the city and since that time I've been back pretty much every year to look at the various exhibitions and it's just such a vibrant place. Now I've got young kids as well so there's so much to do to bring them to get them involved, whether it's through some of the classes and um, exciting kind of community events that take place. Um, but broader than that, I think actually it's had a huge impact on the city. It's, it's why Dundee is the place to be at the current time. It's why we're front page of Time magazine. It's the, the kind of groundwork that the DCA have put in uh, and what that's led to in the wider kind of cultural renaissance of the city. I think my highlight is probably an exhibition that was more recent, so it was Shonky, the Aesthetics of Awkwardness. Um, and the number of reasons for that, I came with my kids and my wife uh, to have a walk through the exhibition and kind of interact with all the different mediums that were on display. Um, for me, it was just that kind of juxtaposition of the, uh, you know, the, the strive for perfection in the modern world, but also the fact that we live in a very imperfect world. Um, and it was displaying that in so many different ways that were really engaging uh, with the, the kind of the visitor experience. Um, and my kids loved it as well. It was so vibrant and engaging in so many different forms to, to see and, and watch and listen to. So it was great and a really interesting take, I suppose, and a different exhibition from the ones that I've seen previously. My hopes and ambitions and wishes, I suppose, for the DCA over the next 20 years is that, well, one, it keeps doing what it's doing, but always striving for better, raising that bar, and that's what we've seen over the last 20 years. So I have no uh, doubts that that will continue into the next 20 years. Uh, I hope that we continue to make our elbows felt nationally and internationally, attracting those major contributors uh, to fantastic ex exhibitions, that we continue to do that huge piece in terms of engagement, uh, proactive, uh, engagement across the city and wider field and the DCA is the next uh, Dundee institution to be featured on the front of Time magazine. I love the DCA for so many different reasons and I think um, you know personally it's a space that I love coming with my family, it's a space that I love coming with my friends whether it's to socialise or see the exhibitions or take part in some of the sessions that are here. Um, the impact it's had for me is just about that engagement, it's a great place, a dynamic place to be able to engage. It's broadened my horizons, it got me to engage in different art forms that I wouldn't have considered before. More broadly than that I suppose in my job uh, as the leader of the council I see the valuable contribution that the DCA has made uh, both culturally but also economically. It is a huge anchor for the city, it provides a huge benefit, it engages with so many communities that otherwise might not have the ability to come into a fantastic venue like this and take part in some of the activities uh, that DCA have on a weekly basis. Uh, so for me DCA is so much more than the building, it's so much more than the exhibition, um, it's an institution that has at its heart every single person in the city and is delivering for every single person in the city.